Hill allotment. Um, it's May, it's chilly here, and we're sowing in courgette seeds. Now, I didn't know that you could put seeds directly into the soil without having to put them into a little sort of growing pot. A little pot or a something. A little pot yeah, to pot. develop them. But well, you can actually do these directly. You can sow direct. Okay, yeah. the weather's warmed up, the soil is warming up. It's actually been... Yeah, actually, you can feel a bit of so, I mean, you wouldn't do them any earlier than this, and this is early, so I hope by the time these are germinated up, the weather will be really warm. Okay, and the soil um, will be a lot warmer. Be warmer. So what I've done is I've buried a lot of manure, well-rotted manure in down here. Have you? Okay. And I've made a sort of slight mound with a sort of channel around, and I'm going to put three seeds in here. We'll only allow one to develop, but three, you know, one fails, we may have to plant, so we'll pick our plant afterwards. And they're about an inch deep, I suppose. Oh, I see. Okay, edge. now they just go in any old way? Or? Well, I've put them on edge here. Just on edge. Well, just show them to camera the size of there. these seeds. Yeah. That noise in the background is to... Um, scare pigeons. Scare pigeons. It's not so, belonging to us, it's in some other field. So they are just going to live. So you need good, well-rotted manure now to do this. They like good, plenty of feeding, so... The right. Bit. And when, okay. the, when we've picked our one, I, the slight sort of channel around here means when we're watering we can get loads of water into this and soak down. I was wondering what you're doing by the channel. So you put the water in there? So the water, we'd water that and it would get down to the roots. Oh, okay. Just hold a bit more water instead of it running away when we're watering. Okay, so, so out of the three water. seeds that went in, you think that only one or two will come survive? Well, they may all come up, but we'll choose one, we'll take out the others and we'll choose one to, oh, to go see. on. Right, okay. And I'll water those in now before we. And here we've we another leave. one done here. And we've another one done here. So just literally scratch your finger your in. Fingers. Yeah. So we don't have to be seen in public. I get the fingernails clean. And in goes the seed. In fact, the soil is really nice and warm down there, despite the cold wind. The soil isn't, is isn't that? But you see, it was sunny this morning. I mean, yeah. there is sun yeah. around, it isn't is there? Something. Yeah. So do these need regular watering now? Well. There's quite a little bit of moisture and I water them well, it's going to rain at some point um, and we'll just keep an eye on them. For so you keep an eye that your soil doesn't once just dry actually, out yeah, Once they're actually growing, there's actually quite a bit of moisture in that soil. I mean, if we haven't dug it up, there's quite a bit right. of moisture. In it. Okay. So um, we leave those, Susan, now. We'll we see leave some those sort there. Of they should germinate and be up in about 10 days or so. And then we'll have to go back and do something with them? Yeah, we'll decide which one we hang on to and then and we'll out of one, how many courgettes would you get? Oh, heaps. Oh. I mean, we actually have, I don't know whether you know it or not, but we actually have a beekeeper close by and his bees come down and fertilise everything, so you get loads of courgettes. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? That's yeah, why maybe the bees we should are talk, so... Maybe we should talk to We definitely about should, to, absolutely, definitely. That's terrific. So, so that's do you want to show watering, watering this? Yeah. Uh, you stay there. I'll stay there. You've got me the watering And then. I'll get you the watering and the top off it, wherever the top... It's literally beside us, because the, the allotment, top? you're not dealing with huge uh, fields. Have we got the rows off the top of it? I wonder what I did with it. The rows, here we are. Great, thank you. Now, okay, so... That's very interesting, the way this is done. Well, it hasn't come up yet, but... Say up to this, I've usually grown them in pots indoors and things. So. so people can do that then. So you don't necessarily have to be in an allotment or in a garden. You can do them on the balcony well, you could do in your them on apartment. The balcony if you had a great big pot to put them in afterwards, because they do. They're quite a big plant. Okay, but then you could have delicious, uh, fresh veg, yeah, yeah, yeah. courgettes. Do you know? Yeah. And they can be. Gorgeous. And you will if they're in a pot. You're really going to have to look after the water because the leaves are so big. Any rain even that the balcony gets is going to be thrown off the pot, so you are going so to have to need water to water, water them water. all yeah. the time. Yeah. And of course we've got great recipes with Gardenville.tv. Don't forget to look at our recipe section because you're going to grow these and bring them in and yummy. Yeah.